It was November 4, 1922. Two tornadoes hit Colorado, the latest ever documented in the state. They also hit early in the morning and were strong enough to kill six people. Really kind of a one-of-a-kind weather event in Colorado's history. State climatologist Russ Schumacher says that most Colorado tornadoes strike after noon and 90% of them are weak, rated EF0 or EF1. The stories of this tragic tornado outbreak were nearly lost in layers of history. Schumacher unearthed the details in old newspaper clippings. And so the top stories were the election. It was the election. Election, and so it's all the reports about who won the various elections and then it's you know tornado kills four people in southeast Colorado. The newspapers reported a family of four killed near Sugar City east of Pueblo. Then hours later two more were killed east of Holyoke. There were no radars or satellites or even a way to quickly communicate a weather forecast. The Coloradans of November 1922 were likely taken completely by surprise. Schumacher took what little weather data there was from the time and recreated the meteorology to see what type of warning the tech of today might have provided. And it actually turned out really well. I was a bit surprised at how closely it matched the tracks of the of the storms, at least as well as we know them from those news reports. Clearly unusual circumstances, but strong tornadoes would have been in the forecast at least a day in advance. Schumacher says there's a lesson for us all in the uncovered tale of this rare storm. Never take your eyes off of Colorado weather. We know that it, the atmosphere has made it happen once and probably means it could happen again at some point in the future. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, Nine News. And that storm wasn't over after the tornadoes hit. The newspapers reported the storm transitioned into a major blizzard later that night. You can find a link to the full report from the state climatologists on 9news.com.